Hi and welcome to this video. I'm Lauren and today I'm in Prague in the city. It's Easter time and I'm gonna have a little walk around, see what there is to see as well as do some art of all the different city scenes and the Easter markets. I've started out with Havi Nadrazi, the main train station. A lot of cool things to see around here so I've just been having a walk in this little room right now. It's really interesting, very, very cool architecture around here. Let's see it in the background. <laughs> After having a look around the architecture, I went down and found this amazing Lego sculpture of the entire train station. It was really, really awesome to see. It had lots of moving parts to it, very imaginative, and I uh, always loved Lego as a kid. So a fun little fact is I actually used to live on this street. <laughs> it was a couple of years ago. We got to walk past and see this every day, which is really, really awesome, as you can see in the background. So, so beautiful. We're busy doing some construction on it right now. The amazing thing about walking around Prague is like literally around every corner there's always something really really awesome to see. One interesting thing about today is that it actually snowed this morning. It's in March 29th today. I took a walk around the Easter market, taking in all the beautiful colors around. It was really nice that the sun was shining that day, but oh my goodness, was it freezing, freezing cold. The market was full of people and lots of really cool decorations and just really awesome to see. I was really hoping to be able to sit in the square there and do a painting of the market in the, in the plain air, but because it was so cold um, and I couldn't really feel my fingers and hands, so I decided when I was home later that I would create this painting of some of the Easter scenes that I saw that day. This is midway through this painting. I'm doing kind of all the background stuff and then I'm gonna work on like adding some more details. But this painting I've been doing with gouache, gouache paint. This is the finished artwork uh, of the Prague Easter markets. There's this picture. And then we also have this one over here. I really loved making this. And <laughs> this just really gives me that uh, feel of the East Markets in Prague. Very light and bright and just a beautiful welcoming of the spring season. So I finished at the market and now I'm just quickly I'm gonna take a metro. It's just so cold, so it'll be nice to be like in the warm for a bit and just head to like a different part of the city. I think the other place that I used to live, I'll head there. Maybe see if I can do some art somewhere around there. Namasimiri area. <laughs> I 
right now I am heading towards one of the parks in Prague. It's um, a really cool little park and you'll see how it is there. I haven't been here in ages. So it's really nice to, to go. Let's have a look. <laughs> structures at this park. So nice in the sun. <sighs> oh my gosh, my fingers are wearing these gloves all day because literally it is just so so cold. But when that sun shines it's beautiful. <laughs> so warm. Okay, I've taken out my sketchbook and I'm gonna try and draw this like a really cool view over there, if you can see that. Um, I'm just gonna do like a really, really quick sketch and um, see how that goes. <laughs> This is what I've got so far. I'm just using um, this Koi coloring brush pen, water-based, kind of just doing very, very basic sketch of this. So it's turning out all right. It's not exactly the same as what I'm seeing in front of me but it's like more or less the same it's just yeah the sun has just gone behind the cloud but it's been really nice actually sitting here in the sun like as soon as the sun pops out from behind this <laughs> this video is all about the sun <laughs> but literally like this time of year um, as we're getting into spring it's just the sun is just so powerful like you literally just want to be outside in the sunshine because it's like so so nice <laughs> But anyway, the drawing is going pretty well. Um, and yeah, I think I'll just like leave it as a sketch and then maybe when I'm home and have some more time, then I can um, do, the, do it either as a painting or add some more colors. This is what it looks like so far. I'm working on the building right now, but it's gonna need like quite a few more details. Now that I've finished drawing the main picture, I'm using a fine liner or permanent marker to kind of go over all of these gray lines. I think that the fine liner is making a big difference. So I kind of like this method of laying down the basic lines first and then yeah, defining the details more. And I think it'll look even cooler when it does eventually have some color on it. <laughs> I finally was able to add some color. I used Copic markers as well as some other different varieties of markers to add color. And then I used some colored pencils to um, sort of define some of the shadows and light in the picture. And this is how the whole thing turned out. It was so much fun to do that little plein air sketch. Just leaving now. Uh, that was really fun drawing session. And um, there's all these cool little like um, spaces you can kind of go in this um, cave thing. I don't know what you would call this. <laughs> to see there's still blossom trees there's actually some pink ones down here so i'm gonna go have a look at those and i'm hoping that there is a bust 
that I can get from down this hill because I don't really want to walk down this hill, up this hill again. <laughs> it's like that. But yeah, I love this park. It's got some really cool, um, it's quite a small park, but it's um, got some cool little features. There's a kind of, I don't know what that building is, but on the hill there. And then over here, there's a really cool restaurant and some vineyards. Very, very interesting. <laughs>